three cool game exploits, and this is the Streets of Rage remake. This version 5, it came in like uh, 2010, I believe. In either case, it is amazing. I'm about to show you all the lovely things. But first, I'm going to go to the options because it's got a wide array of options. So we've got like various difficulties, lives, you know. Um, but the main thing you can change is like the weapon types because each time they released a Streets of Rage game, there was a different weapon type. So you can have them work in different ways. I tend to set everything to Streets of Rage 2 because it's the one I know and love. I played, I had Streets of Rage 1 and 2, I didn't have 3, and I played, I played 2 the most. So that's how I figured out. It has various different like you can do the frame rate you can have different graphical modes so you can put scan lines over top i don't bother obviously goes full screen v-sync uh you can make uh, shadows actually look like a full reflection of your character or um like having the old streets of rage style you can even change the game name to bare knuckle which the uh, i believe japanese game name for for this so yeah um lots of different options oh i'm pressing all buttons Various audio options, we're going to just quickly touch those up a touch. Okay. Last breath, SR1, SR2. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea. Leave it. Voice type, bare knuckle 3, Streets of Rage 3. Uh, I don't know. I think if you go bare knuckle, it's Japanese. And if you go Streets of Rage 3, he actually screams out bare knuckle. I'm talking about Axel, one of the characters. He screams out bare knuckle in Streets of Rage 3, and I really didn't like that. Fully rebindable controls and various other things so yeah you could customize this game to play like any of the previous streets of rage what this essentially is is every streets of rage game that was released in one game um there's extra game modes though as well whoops there's extra game modes as well like survival boss rush you have to unlock all of these in the in-game shop which is here there is a lot to unlock characters here. There's a new character that they've entered the game as well as some of the enemies and boss characters. And you get the kangaroo there from Streets of Rage 3. So there's a lot going on there. Various cheats. I have actually got the cheats of uh, dead enemy bodies never disappear. I've got infinite lives. I, you do have to complete the game before you unlock this um, shop mode. So before you even get access to this, you have to have done the game. And it can be difficult depending on what route you take. I'll go into that in a second. Um... Yeah, I can also keep hold of weapons between stages, so I've not really modified it much. Uh, also, I've unlocked Streets of Rage 1 and 2 characters. But uh, there's various things. You've also got a Streets of Rage maker, so you can make your own Streets of Rage game and edit the uh, the colour palettes, the names, and the AI characters in a certain way. There's also profiles to save your high scores on. So yeah, and you can also play with Computer Friend, which I've never done, and I'm not going to. <laughs> Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so here's character select screen. Obviously, I've unlocked this one. You've got all the characters here from all the games. You can change the colour palettes, which is rather nice, and the different types of characters. So, oh, okay, so that went weird with that character palette there, colour palette. Sorry. Right, so that's Streets of Rage 1 Axle, Streets of Rage 2 Axle, and Streets of Rage 3 Axle. And that works for certain characters that appeared on multiple games. Like, Skate's got two different versions of himself, but these two. These three guys don't say only appeared in one game. Figure Streets of Rage 1, he was 2, and he was 3. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to play as Streets of Rage 2 Axel, because frankly that's the one that I play as the most, and I think it's the one that everyone knows the most. They've added cutscenes into the game, but I'm going to ignore those. This is the route system that I was talking about. So, right, you pick your starting point. So this will be the first level Streets of Rage 1. That's the first level Streets of Rage 2, I think that's free, and that is the new levels that they've added. They've made new le entire new levels for this game, and what you can do is say you start on Streets of Rage 2, I'll show you this in a second, but I can actually pick an alternate route which will take me to one of the other designated routes that were available there. So that is something that's really interesting in the game. I was saying customize to play any way you want, there's a nice little roll mechanic there. And yeah, all the dead bodies are staying. It's just, it's amazing. There's some, you can turn off all graphical um, enhancements that they've done. There's certain enhancements like explosions. You might be able to see there's a reflection in the window, which is obviously not uh, a thing that's possible on the 16-bit consoles. So yeah, I say consoles, the Mega Drive, the glorious, glorious Genesis Ford slash Mega Drive, or Mega Drive Ford slash Genesis, because I'm European. The one remake I always try and compare to, when when it comes to like, like what I call the ultimate remake, would be Toy Box Turbos, which is weird. 
because it's got a different name from what the series is based on. It was made by the original developers as well, the, or the original development studio. It was made by Codemasters, who made Micro Machines. And what Sawbox Turbos is, if you haven't seen the videos that I've made on it, is actually a remake of Micro Machines, but they could they could call it Micro Machines because I don't think Micro Machines exist anymore. So that whole licensing thing and the whole copyright is now no longer available for them to use. Um, yeah, so let's call it something else. But it's essentially the modern day Micro Machines. And what they've done with that is they actually managed to take the, uh, take the look and style of Micro Machines 3 3, which was the PlayStation 1, like the 3D era Micro Machines games. And with that, they managed to then have the camera view available with Bird's Eye. So you can play it in both the style of the newer ones, which were st are still old in their own right, because I mean, PlayStation 1 era, era we looking at 10 years ago. And uh, they also managed to replicate the feel of the old games whilst making everything look really new and snazzy. And the game was just perfect. It played like the old ones. Everything was right. It had some of the same old vehicles and the same tracks. So you can still like have a race on the kitchen side, which is just it was just it was just the one, that's why I judge judge games against. It was so well done. Everything felt new, but at the same time felt just as they always had, and that's what you want from a nostalgia trip. And this, instead of making everything look new, it's kept everything perfectly the same but then enhanced it just slightly and added more content. There's there's new enemies, there's new weapons that rock around, but like if you say just want to play your standard Streets of Rage 2 style game, you just fo pick the Streets of Rage 2 route and just follow down it throughout the whole game. You just keep going to the right, like you would have on the Mega Drive, but what, you, what we'll get in a minute is we'll get the option to go up a set of stairs. We'll get two things that say go. The, the little icon that says go, that um, pops up on occasion to remind you that now's the time that you can leave because you've beaten all the enemies in the area. That that will appear but twice, and it's really simple and it fits right in with with the with the Streets of Rage style. I mean, it's it's amazing. I I haven't really took many of the also routes. I've done it once or twice, but uh, it's just I just love it. I just love it. I mean, like. If you like Streets of Rage, then you can have Streets of Rage and more. Here you go, look, so I'm going up these stairs. If I would have gone right there, I would have ended up fighting a boss called Electro, who's a woman with a whip, um, and then gone to the main boss of the level. Uh, I can't remember his name. I think it might be Wayne. I don't know. But instead, we're in this entirely new area. This area does not exist in the original games, not Streets of Rage 1, 2, or 3. This is entirely original content now. Well, original in... Uh, when it comes to the level and the enemy placement, but obviously it's all still Streets of Rage. We've got some Streets of Rage 3 characters appearing as enemies now as well. So when you're in these new areas, you do get a mixture of enemies from all the, all the Streets of Rage games rather than just the one. You tend to get more Streets of Rage 3 ones. I don't know why. Maybe the guy who made this, or the guys that made this first Streets of Rage 3, I have no idea. But, yeah, I mean... And this still fits in, it's still got the, the same great sort of style of music and mechanics, nothing's changed here, it's just, it's just Streets of Rage and more. And when it comes to remakes, you can't really ask for anything more than that really, that's exactly what you want from a remake. Just more of what I used to love, and everything that I love to be intact. And that's exactly what this has done. It's, this and Toilet Turbo is now what all remakes, fan or otherwise, are going to be judged against.